Okay, here's everyone's favorite question, number seven, with the five couples going to a concert. Uh, that's ten people. Um, when they get their tickets, though, they find out that they are not able to all sit in a single row. They're separated into two groups. There are three seats that are together in one part of the auditorium and seven seats that are together in another part. And I'm going to call those section A and B uh, when I draw this out. The question is how many ways are there to arrange uh, arrange their seats so that only one couple is separated? And uh, maybe this isn't clear in the question. We're always full of ambiguity here. Um, not only do I want couples to sit in the same sections as much as possible, but they should sit in seats right next to each other, adjacent seats. So to solve this, let's uh, draw a little picture of our two sections. So here's section A. I've got uh, three seats in section A. And then let's draw out section B as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there is section B. And uh, I'm going to start by filling up uh, section B first. Um, so what we're going to do is count the number of ways to fill the seats and then we're going to realize that there are some extra places that we could put certain, the split couple, the couple that can't sit together, and uh, that's going to um, give us a few extra permutations or many extra permutations. So let's start putting people in seats. There are 10 people available to sit in this seat, but as soon as I put a person there, I want couples to sit together. There is only one person to sit in the adjacent seat. Okay, I've used up two people. That leaves eight for this spot. And one person definitely has to sit next to that person. And you may be noticing a problem already. I'm going to deal with it in just a second. Six people available for that spot. That leaves a uh, partner to sit next in this seat. And then now we have uh, four people that are available to select that last seat. Now you may be looking at this saying, well, what if that lone person that's not part of a couple had sat over here somewhere. Well, that's a good point. They could have sat either on either end or between any of these uh, three uh, sets of couples. So they could have sat here or kind of in here or here or here. That means there are four ways to have used these same people um, in, in the same order by just moving this one person, this, this lone person into different seats and shuffling everybody down. So we're going to multiply that whole thing by four. Now, what that means is over here somewhere, I need to put the partner for, uh, sorry, for this person right here. This is the split, the split uh, couple. So I'm going to put the other partner, let's say, in that first seat. And again, we can move that person in a second. That leaves two people left, uh, which is one couple. So here is that couple being placed in the two remaining seats. And once again, I don't have to put that split person here on this end. I could have put them at the other end and left these first two seats for the couple that is together. So we have two places that that could have happened. If we multiply this whole thing together, that's 10 times 8 times 6 times 4 times 2. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Those are all the values inside of my brackets. And uh, that whole thing is multiplied by 4 times 2. I just want to point out that this here is actually 5 factorial times 2 to the fifth. So if that, uh, you may see why that's the case by arranging five couples. Uh, and then these are the number of ways to arrange people within each couple. And then this deals with the fact that we have these splits and we can move these people into different places. Anyway, multiply that whole thing out. 30,720 arrangements where only one couple doesn't get to sit um, together and the remaining couples sit in adjacent seats. And that's the whole thing.